Thanks for tuning in again. So on this week's episode, we're heading to Northern Ontario with Ken. You know, every year they have a group of guys that go up for a moose hunt. This year they had two moose tags, and a, or bull tags and a cow tag. So they pack up for like some ridiculous 18 hour long drive or something like that. And of all our episodes that we've done, this is one of my favorites. It's a two-parter again, two awesome kills. Um, you'll have to stick it out and see, but it is unbelievable. Normally this year we're trying to have someone sitting next to me. Ken lives in Ontario, I'm in Alberta. Neither of us want to travel across Canada to do some commentary. So you have to watch this two-part episode. It is unbelievable. The footage they got, the kills they got are second to none. You're not going to want to miss this one. Dirt Nap TV is brought to you by Scree Canada. Dirt Nap TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Grizzly Targets, CWD Free, Archery World, TSC Archery, Precision Driven. <laughs> we're gonna come run. We did. We're gonna come running for that. <laughs> we're about to belt. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're about uh, uh, just shy halfway through our journey for today. Left the uh, home this morning around 2 a.m. Uh, it's now, what do we got? Like 10.30 in the morning. And uh, we're just north of Thessalon, heading our way to Thunder Bay today. So we will get a hotel room there and stay the night and then make the last leg of our journey in tomorrow morning. So we're just doing a quick little pit stop, fuel up, and then back on the road again. All right, so we're at the uh, hotel just uh, barbecuing up some steaks for tonight's dinner and then into the bush tomorrow I left the hotel uh, about two hours ago in another time zone now so we're what maybe three hours away from camp making good time the weather holds off for us so we're not putting camp up in the rain should be good now, not all of us are doing well this morning. <laughs> Some people are hurting. <laughs> All right, we are at our last gas stop before heading into the bush. Top up and get a few groceries and then uh, into the woods we go. Oh, there's a mess right there. <laughs> 
This segment of Dirt Nap TV is brought to you by ESC Archery. All right, it is night one here for our 2022 uh, Ontario moose hunt. We are uh, up in Wayne, up in northern Ontario. Uh, there's a group of us up here. We have a couple of bull tags and a cow tag. Hunted this area many years. Uh, one of our previous episodes on Dirt Nap uh, was aired and we shot a moose up in this area as well. So we just got in, set up camp today. A couple of guys are out scouting tonight. We decided to come down the lake, make some calls and see if we uh, got anything going. Wind's not great for this spot tonight, but for the first night we thought we'd just get out. And we only got maybe an hour and a half, two hours most to do some calling and see what's what. And Hopefully, uh, maybe get some action. If not, well, we might come back in the morning, fill around here and see what we got. There's a couple of nice trails along the water's edge. So, we'll give her a shot tonight and see how we make out. All right, we're on day two of our moose hunt. Um, just out doing a little scouting. Uh, last night, didn't hear anything. Got a little rainy, rained overnight. Just cleared up maybe about an hour ago, although it looks like we might get some more rain now. We're uh, going in to check out uh, a lake that we haven't hunted yet. Um, we're going to see if we can get maybe the canoe in there for this afternoon or possibly the next day. So we're just scouting this morning, see what we can see. We'll make a few calls and see what turns up. If not, we'll have a hopefully have another spot to go this afternoon. Whoa. We've been seeing lots of trees raked and stuff. We see some fresh tracks. So we stopped and made a call and we had a cow ball back at us. So we're just gonna work up here a little bit, make a few more calls. As you can see, the flies are bad. And uh, yeah, see if we can get her to come out. She might have a bull with her, who knows? But we'll give her a go and see. See what we can figure out. Try to sink the one in. Just a second, 34. So when you watch this part, it's unbelievable. You have to keep in mind where they're hunting is so far north, like super far northern Ontario. Uh, I'd like to tell you where it is, but two things. One, he'd kill me if I did. Second, he won't tell me, so I don't know. But 
From what I've been told, these animals don't see people often. It is way up in the middle of nowhere, and I've never seen anything like this. It's absolutely crazy. Now, when you watch it on camera, you have to keep in mind the angles are different, and uh, things always look a little different and closer than they actually are, but nonetheless, this is unbelievable. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen, and it's amazing. There you go. Oh. 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 Get another one down. Yeah. Get another one down. Oh. 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 He's gonna go down. Let him go down. Oh. Get ready, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. Let him have it. Let him have it. Let him have it. He's going down. Oh. He's going down. This segment of Dirt Nap TV is brought to you by Portable Winch Company. We're literally just cutting wood and this bull starts running down the road at us. Got the bow and as you've seen Danny <sighs> called and I went behind and the first one looked good but didn't get much penetration. Second one was high in his hind but it went in deep so we're going to give him an hour or so and uh, maybe trail up the blood after that. Time will tell. One antlered moose. <laughs> Hard to tell here where it's running. Oh, 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 oh. Well, as you can see, it, the shot wasn't what we want, right? It was a little forward. It looked like it got a bit of that shoulder, but they got a follow-up shot into it. Always try to get a follow-up shot into it if you can. It's just the ethical thing to do. But then they spent some time looking and realized, you know what, it's just time to back out and give it some space. Last thing these animals need to see is us standing over them when they're doing their last bit of things. So, you know what, they backed out like they should have, textbook, and came back the next day to find it. All right, so 2022 archery hunt is off to uh, a decent start. What are we in day two now? Um, first, you got him the first day. Yeah, so hit him. hit him the first day, got him the second day. Uh, off to a good start, good team effort on this bull. Like I said, it was almost 24 hours from start to finish before we got him. So uh, 
pretty happy with with how things turned out and yeah. where's the 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 still ever yeah, I think we should be sponsored by still we should be yeah. sponsored because i would have never thought that still thing would have worked yeah but anyways congratulations kenny yeah thank you boys it was a good effort all around i wouldn't have been able to get it without all you guys so scotty <coughs> Kurt. Kurt. well not hey, david page the and i approve this message yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, boys. <clears throat> I think I've said it before, and I'll say it a million times. So, like, all those guys sitting around that moose, that's what it's about, right? The same guys every year go up for, I think, what did they say, 18 years? That is what it's all about. It's the stories that you have that you come back with. But, you know, everyone there was just as happy or excited as Ken was, and that's why we do it. Again, once you lose that, give up hunting because you've done too much and yeah but no again awesome hunt and just super proud of that whole group they put up numbers and get great moose year after year Say for yourself, Kenny. Wow. <laughs> Little mini tanks there. Oh, just glad it's over and the, the beast is dead. Yeah, it's uh didn't get much sleep last night, but uh sleep good tonight. <laughs> Hasn't been running till It hasn't line. been running yeah. in a long time. This segment of Dirt Nap TV is brought to you by Scent Relief. That makes sense. All right, it is. What are we on? Eight day, day three. three? Day three. 27th and uh, got our bowl all cleaned up and hanging yesterday as you can see uh, the deal was you shoot a moose you get a moustache so hopefully it'll bring us some more good luck um, we're back in the cut that we were in on day one when we were scouting we've seen a fresh cow track just outside the cut. So uh, we're just gonna make our way through here, do some calls, sit, see what we hear, and uh, go from there, make a decision from there. We were in here the other day, it looked really good. Lots of fresh grapes and rubs and stuff, so. Bull tag left and a cow tag left, so still got lots of arrows to fling.
as we're out to looking for moose, we got some dinner fare for tonight. A couple of spruce grouse. We got a male and a female, so they go good in the frying pan. Hopefully, the boys will be out catching some fish, and uh, we'll have a good stir fry with these and a couple of good fish meals. Hopefully, it's always nice to. Uh, Harvest and eat while you're hunting. You know what they say, with great moustache come great elk hunting. I don't think they say that, but maybe they will start. But again, that was awesome. Uh, super proud of those guys. Good job up there. And yeah, wait till next week though. If, if this one was bizarre and crazy for you, next week's episode is even better. Like the kill on this next moose that they get is unbelievable. The shot is unbelievable. The footage is unbelievable. You just can't ask for more. So again, like always, if you enjoyed this episode or any of our other ones, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, also on the Wild TV app. Be sure to head over to our YouTube and give us a like and a subscribe. Helps us out huge. The more we grow, the more we can start giving out uh, product sponsors to people or give them arrows or broadhead stuff like that it just helps us grow the show and lets us keep doing what we love doing so be sure to check in next week for part two of this episode and we'll see you right here on dirt nap tv dirt nap tv is brought to you by these fine sponsors grizzly targets cwd free archery world tsc archery precision driven Hello YouTube friends. Hey, we got a favor to ask of you. Before you continue with this video, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, follow along, you know, get all the updates. We'd be uploading videos quite often. We're trying to do it every week or so now with some of the awesome footage that we have. Helps us grow, helps us get our following up. And you know what, we're doing this for you guys and we'd really appreciate the support. This is what helps us grow and you guys are the ones that can help us get there. So. If you could smash that subscribe and like button, we'd appreciate it. Thanks.